if we wanted a consistent look of a six column section offset by three, we could change our large prefix to small. And on screen sizes small and up, we'll have a consistent behavior. Now there's an alternate way we can create this sorter layout, which is a six column div um, centered. And we can do that by changing this to centered, which means on small screens and up, this column uh, will be centered. Let's save that and refresh. And as you can see, you don't see a change regardless of what screen size you're at. Why don't we take a look at a more practical example? Suppose this row was sort of our main content area of our page. And in our main content area, we have our main content as well as a sidebar. So this second div is gonna act as a sidebar and from medium screens and up, it'll be four columns and we'll change this one to medium. That's medium. We'll change this one to eight and we'll remove these small dash centered. And what we'll do in this section is we'll add some placeholder text and uh, let's put a whole lot, just like that. And why don't we create sort of a side navigation. Uh, how about like that? And we'll pretend that this is sort of a side navigation. Uh, I don't know. Link and link. You get the idea. So if we come back to our page, and we refresh it, you'll see here that on large screens, we've got our main content area and a side area. If we're thinking of a mobile first approach to our layout, we'll see that if an actual visitor was to, to come to our page on our imaginary website, they would be greeted with a large amount of text that will require a lot of scrolling before they get to the site navigation. So if we determine that a better user experience on a mobile size screen would be to have this site navigation above all of this content, we could do the following to get that result. Simply cut our HTML out and place it up here. and we use something called source ordering the foundation and grids offers. So source ordering is the following, a screen size and a behavior. In this case, we'll want to uh, push this one eight columns to the right on medium size screen. And for our main content, we'll want to pull it four notice that we're pulling the same amount of columns that our sidebar equals to, and we're pushing the same amount of columns that our main content pushes to, or excuse me, uh, our main content's width. So now on a mobile screen, we have our side nav up top because we moved our HTML and on medium sized screens, our side nav returns to the right of the main content area. So this is called source ordering in foundation. And using screen class names, along with the push or pull behavior, you can change the layout um, of your page. Now really quickly for our final example, we're gonna make use of one more foundation class. And what we're gonna do is 
make sure that our page layout is always full width, meaning it's a fluid width row. By default, uh, the row class, I believe, has a max width of about 1,200 pixels. If we wanted it to be full screen, we could add the class expanded to our row. And when we come back and refresh, we'll have a full width uh, layout. So that's pretty much it for the foundation grid tutorials. There's one more section that we can look at called the, there it is, block grids. Now block grids work a little bit different than uh, normal grids, so we'll save that for another section. Thanks for watching.